from the roof at the Case Center in Boston. It's Patriot League men's basketball. Tonight, it's the Boston University Terriers hosting the Holy Cross Crusaders in a Turnpike Trophy matchup. Outside again, Octave for three this time. Three Arm straight up. A guy that sometimes gets into foul trouble for trying to block. And it was the first shot of the game for Jarrell Gates as Walter White hits at the other end. And he'll offensive rebound the Crusaders. Back for Octave, and he gets it this time. Give credit to Jaden Kirkwood, freshman, underneath for keeping that play alive. Uh, it's just high octave energy right now. Oh, I, sorry, boy. he had to do one of them. For BU after missing the last three with a non-COVID related illness as Walter White drives with the right hand. Uh, there is no backside help. Jarrell Keith. Damon Tate loses it on the drive, gets it back. And how about that for a reverse layup? You can tell that they're rushing. That's the unfortunate part right now. When you get down big, but there's Damon Tate. First three of the game for the Terriers. Landrum takes the pass in from Jonas Harper. And Jonas is able to invent a shot. Yeah, got another more points in the... Otto Landrum working on Gates. And the hook shot is good. And Otto Landrum has a yell about it. He loved that play. And BU is back within 10. Awesome. That's a big bucket inside, too. Uh, I mean, they get the winning out of that possession because Terry's only got one. Step back three is good for Jonas Harper. That's a good time for his first three of the game. Uh, Zink on Gates, gets it up there, and he'll go to the line for the and one. Underneath, Zink is free. Two more for Nevin Zink. He has now tied his overall college career high of 21 that he took to Zink, the hot hand. And he's got 23 for a new career high. Uh, well, I just love that he shook it off. Meaning, but now who's going to score while he's out? Jonas Harper. How about three for Jonas Harper? It's now a six-point game. I think Batchelder was not in the act of shooting. I thought at first he was, but he was not making that upward motion. Oh, Montgomery hits a three. The first one other than Octave or Batchelder. And the Terriers fall 82-70. to Nevin Zink, a career-high 25 points. I'm Caitlin Gelhouse here at the roof with a final score of 82-70 to as Holy Cross takes the win. I'm here with BU coach Mike Quinn. Mike. This is obviously not the outcome you're looking for, but there was an obvious change from the first half to the second half, a better energy, a more competitive game. What was it that you told the team at the half to get them into that mojo and better energy on the court? Yeah, coach just told, you know, our, our energy defensively, they were too comfortable, obviously. They were knocking down shots all over the gym. So we had to pick up our energy defensively, get into them a little bit more, make them a little bit more uncomfortable. And I thought that led to us getting out in transition off some defensive stops and tur turnovers, which helped us get back in the game. And looking into the future, you are going to Loyola on Saturday. How are you scouting this team and, and what are you looking to do against their offensive defense? Yeah, I think to, to the point of this game, we got to come out with the intensity right from the beginning defensively. Uh, we dug too deep of a hole today, so we got to come out ready to go right away on the defensive end. And then offensively, I thought we did a good job sharing it tonight, especially in the second half, uh, playing inside out. So that's what we got to continue to do this Saturday. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. I'm Caitlin Gelhouse here at the roof with the final score of 82 for Holy Cross and 70 for Boston University. You can tune in and follow along with Brian and Doug as they travel to, to Loyola on Saturday. They'll be on at 4.45 p.m. for a 5 o'clock start game on GoTerriers.com. See you at the next home game.